All you have to do is ask. <laughs> All right, let's go. How to use your astrology chart to know how you're meant to make money. And receive it with ease, baby. Because we all deserve that. Go to astro-charts.com and go to settings. Change the houses to whole sign. To find your second house, find the two. And that is the sign that rules that house. Do not use CoStar for this. It will not give you this information. Whatever sign rules your second house is going to be the focus of this video and of this interpretation for yourself. So I have Scorpio here. Scorpio rules transformation, right? Cycles of death and rebirth, as well as letting go and learning to live more in flow as opposed to trying to control based on fear. Notice that when I let go of the fear of not having money and trying to control how it comes in to my life and control my finances, it never works and I always end up broke, which has happened so many damn times. You also want to look at the ruler of that sign. So for Scorpio, it's Mars and Pluto. I have Mars in my seventh house in the sign of Aries, which tells me I make money by initiating, by taking action of the inspirational kind. Let's go back to this for a second. Scorpio is passion, right? Intensity, the taboo, the occult. So I'm meant to make money by all of those things, by talking about astrology, by talking about human design, by using tarot, by talking about things that most people want to shove under the rug and not talk about, right? Just interpreting the sign alone can also give you more insight into how you're meant to make money. And for Scorpio specifically, as long as you're pursuing your passions, the money's going to flow and releasing control around it. Specifically releasing control around how and when and why that happens. Also want to look at the planets you have there. For example, I have North Node. So this relates to my destiny. If I'm really pursuing my passions and living in alignment with my soul's destiny and karma, the money is just going to flow in and I don't even have to worry about it. When I allow myself Pluto to go through the cycles of transformation of death and rebirth, when I really let go of the things in my life that aren't serving me and become reborn, and go through that cycle of transformation, that's when money starts to come in for me too. And Jupiter here, when I follow my expansion, although Jupiter can lend itself to a little bit of overindulgence. So let's go back to Mars, right? The other ruler of Scorpio and where that is in my chart. I found that when I'm in a relationship that's not aligned for me, the seventh house, money stops. Time after time I've entered in relationships and stayed in relationships that weren't serving me or I wasn't embodied in my power, Aries or my confidence, Aries or taking the courage that I needed to, Aries. <laughs> The money literally stopped and I was broke as fuck. You can also look at, okay, where is all of that in my human design? For me, I have Mars in gate 21, which is in the heart center. In love, desire, relationships, willpower. When I'm truly aligned and committed to the things that serve me, heart center, the money just flows. And when I'm not, when I'm committing to things that don't serve me, it stops. 